Hey, so I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit today. Woohoo! So I just dropped the girls off and now I'm driving home. I feel like the last time that I was, gosh, I wish I could just hold it out like this, but I, I can't. Um, I feel like the last time I vlogged was like, I don't know, forever ago. The last video that I posted was uh, the gender reveal video, which was so exciting because we knew what the gender was like for three, four days before that. And it was so hard not to tell anybody. Um, and it almost made it feel not real until we told people. We've been saying that the baby's a boy forever just because we were hoping for a boy and I guess we just kind of felt like maybe he was a boy. Us still saying that he was a boy wasn't really that, that much of a change. So, I don't know, it just kind of made it feel more real and it still kind of doesn't feel real that we're having a boy because I'm just so used to having girls. Okay, so I just got home. Okay, now I can hold my phone out further. Um, the house is a big giant mess because yesterday I took a break and did not clean anything. So, hmm. Right now I'm looking for some breakfast. I haven't gone grocery shopping in like over a week. Oh. Okay. I got frozen waffles from the other day. So, you know what? I just don't like I don't like sweet stuff for breakfast. So, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. So, I'm gonna heat up some waffles. You guys, I just can't get over my hair. Like I have, if not almost, if not half, almost half of my dreads brushed out. And so like all the front here is all brushed out and all around here. And it's just so weird to like touch my hair again, like for real. And one thing that is like really like tripping me out is that I, I'm not used to having hair on my ears. Like if it's a dread, I can just easily like move it out of the way and it's not touching my ears. Um, so like I'm not used to having hair on my ears and it's making my ears really irritated and like itchy and hot. And because even like if I just even like back like that, there's still some hair resting on the top, and it is really becoming an issue. What was I saying? I don't know. Time for breakfast though. So. About nine ten. Just put some laundry in, and my power whatever power hour cleaning starts like right now, pretty much. That's what I do. Whoops. No. I set my kitchen timer for an hour, then I turn on, bleh, that looks so bad. Um, I turn on some music and I just go. I hate these old cabinets that don't have knobs on them or really the drawers I hate the drawers because if there's anything in them at all that makes them heavy and you go to pull on them they don't pull and instead you bend your whole fingernail back <sighs> like <sighs> like that hurts I don't like it Okay, so I took a little break from my power hour, which I almost never do. Like usually if I'm just gonna do it, I just do it and I try to finish. 
but I started feeling really bad so um, I just decided to kind of sit down I'll probably go through the paper clutter over there that I'm sure you guys saw earlier that's one of our biggest issues is paper clutter and like clutter on surfaces and it drives me crazy but like I don't it's just one of the things that we struggle with hello it's about 10 till 2 I'm on my way to get the girls I'm not exactly sure how interesting have I been recording yes I am okay I'm not exactly sure how interesting this vlog is gonna be just because I don't do a whole lot during the day but I'll try to get some footage of the girls um, you know like doing their chores doing their homework and stuff we need to get back into that. I feel like last week just really threw us off. Um, like every day we weren't sure if the girls were going to be able to go to school the next day because of like, we live in North Georgia, so we didn't get, it's not like we we're in Florida, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like we got hit like that, but a lot of our, um, like a lot of people, especially in our county and like neighboring counties were without power for like a week. Um, you know, they have, like, trees fall on their property, fall on their cars, on their houses, stuff like that. Um, thankfully, we never lost power, and none of our trees fell down. Um, we, I mean, we were just cooped up inside the house with the girls all week, which wouldn't have been bad if I would have just, like, you know, changed my mindset a little bit and been a little bit more positive, but I wasn't, so it kind of just threw off my whole routine just rough so we're trying to get back into the swing of things the girls are going to come home do their chores do their homework then they can have screen time and then it'll be supper time so but you guys will see all that i hope something oh all right so the girls are done with their homework and their chores for now so they're watching some YouTube okay I don't even know what I was saying I went to go get some water because I had some really bad heartburn and I guess I didn't close the lid to my water bottle all the way because I picked it up and the whole thing spilled on the floor so yay I don't even know what I meant to say right here, but <clears throat> hey, sorry. So as usual, I did not close the vlog last night or whatever yesterday. I don't know. I cooked supper and it ended up being like weird and I was just kind of upset about it. I don't know. Like I was just feeling really like down about everything, life. Um, and I was like crying <laughs> And, sorry, I have you guys, like, set up, like, on my water bottle. Because I'm in the Walmart parking lot right now. I tried to kind of park where, like, nobody would see me. But now I feel like everybody can see me and it's, like, staring at me. But, anyway. Awesome. Somebody's parking, like, right here beside me. I'll just pretend like I'm doing something else. I'm like, yeah, I'm, right, I'm, right. I'm just organizing my receipts. Which is actually something that I need to do. Exactly. Anyway, so, after me and Caleb went to bed, I just started feeling really terrible because it's like, it's hard whenever you are trying really, really hard to budget your 
this is probably all that you can hear. Whenever you're trying to budget your grocery money, but then you feel like you are incapable of being creative just with what you have because no one in your house eats food. Nobody eats food. So, they all just eat junk. I mean, Amelia eats like vegetables and stuff, and that's well and good. Sophie doesn't, Sophie and Caleb don't eat vegetables. Sophie doesn't eat any kind of sauce. So, if, if I were to make something like in the crock pot that had like a glaze or with, that was like cream of something, and like it was glazed, no way would she eat that. It's really frustrating to me that, I don't know, I, I you know as a mom you just feel like everything that's wrong with everything is because you can't make it right like that's pretty much how I'm feeling and I mean I know that's like not uncommon like I know that's I don't want to say it's a normal mom emotion because I'm not accepting that that's something that I have to deal with but I do know that it is common and I hate it so I was just like crying last night. I just get in these like weird, overwhelmed, like hopeless feeling moods sometimes where it's like my brain just picks a topic and just rags on me about it. So today's topic was, or last night's topic was cooking that nobody ever eats what I cook. So um, my family's just going to starve and... Not starve, but just, like, always be unhappy with what I'm cooking. Like, maybe they'll eat it, but not because they want to. Because they don't want to starve. Like, because they just have to. And, you know, it just makes you feel, like, stupid and not good. So, I don't know. I don't know how to, like, turn these feelings around. Usually I just have to wait them out. But they always happen at night. Not always. Not always. Most of the time they happen at night right before I go to bed. Because I'm most vulnerable then. And I just lay in bed and I cry myself to sleep. And not even like sobbing crying, but it's like crying that I can't control. Like I'm just laying there and like tears are coming out of my face. So I don't know. Anyway, I have to go inside now and get some face wash and some dish soap. And I will then go home and make a real grocery list and come back to the store and go grocery shopping. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and close this vlog out. Sorry to end it on such like a dumb you know, weird note or whatever, but, uh, oh, and I also did not do my 21 week update, so I'll get to that. Anyway, bye guys.